Check it out, I'm here in Budapest, Hungary. I've only been here 24 hours, but it's already on my list of my new favorite European cities. What a place. Beautiful cathedrals, amazing architecture, the food, oh my God, I'm gonna gain 10 pounds. All right, join me, let's go see what we can find. We have a different theme in every city because I want to keep it fresh, all right? The theme here in Budapest is the beauty of ambiguity. And it involves this idea of how removing or obscuring information can make a work more interesting. So as you go through a city that maybe you've been through a few times, I want you to take the kind of photos you've taken before, but then I want you to really think about using the filter to make them your own. So go in and click on one of my presets. If you like it, that's great. But then I really want you to think about looking at all those crazy controls over on the right side, all those sliders and all of those mysterious colors. But be like a kid and just play with them. You might discover something really, really cool. So don't be afraid to post-process your photos heavily. It's a really interesting way for you to make your mark on the world, for you to do something that's great for you and maybe create something that's never been created before. Cameras today can be so literal. You see everything and it can be quite boring. So the only way to make this more interesting is to confuse or obscure information. And you could do this through filters. Let me tell you kind of the roundabout way how I got into this. I remember it was 1977 and I went to go see Star Wars for the first time. And I was completely transfixed by Star Wars. I remember I went with my dad. I was six years old. It was amazing. Nothing else was like it. And then I started watching all the behind the scenes stuff of Star Wars. And I remember watching how they made the sound effects. The, the Lucasfilm team, they would run around. I remember this one time they went to this power plant and there were these big cables, these big steel cables. And they were trying to find the sound for a blaster, right? For the laser. And they would take like a crowbar and just slam this thing and it made this crazy sound and they would record it. And then they would go back into the lab and post-process it until it sounded like a laser blaster. And that kind of stuck with me. And so I want you to think about this when you're taking photos. You know how these movie guys go out and sample sound? I want you to think that all you're doing now is just sampling the light. And this is just step one of a hundred, okay? There's so much more you could do with filters to make that light or that sound fundamentally your own. So as you start processing these photos, I really want you to think about this is part one of so many steps beyond it, all right? Become comfortable with the journey of working on these photos. Become comfortable with the journey of making mistakes. I'm gonna also suggest you get some software I made called Aurora HDR. I made my own software. Uh, right now it's only on Mac, but it's about to come out for Windows. Uh, so far it has 1.5 million downloads. People love it, it's incredible. And like I was talking about the filters and Lightroom earlier, that's kind of level one. I would say Aurora HDR is like level five. And as you start adding layers and playing with the controls, your photos will not look like mine. The method I teach is that your photos will look like yours. They will be quintessentially the current figment of your own personality, where you are right now in your life. It'll have the shadow of your own history. Everything will be melded into that photo, and you'll never be able to make the same photo twice. And that ephemeral nature of the art, to me, is what makes it special.